Welcome to the official best. The show that takes you around the country, state by state. Showing America's best destinations and attractions. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the official best. Welcome to the official best of Missouri for 2011. During the next half hour, you'll see some of the very best things Missouri has to offer. Something you won't want to miss, plus features from other states. Now, here is the official best of Missouri for 2011. Quality is at the heart of how Anheuser-Busch has conducted business since the company was founded in 1852. You can experience that quality during the Budweiser Brewery Tour in St. Louis. Follow the crafting of Budweiser, the great American lager, from all natural quality ingredients to the refreshing brew enjoyed across the globe. In the hospitality room, if you're 21 years and older, you can enjoy your favorite brew, including a variety of other new and innovative products. The world-famous Budweiser Clydesdales, known for their size, strength, and precision, can be seen in their stables right outside. A combination of art and science, the Budweiser brewing process combines traditional brewing methods with the latest technological innovations. The Anheuser-Busch gift shop offers a wide selection of the latest in Anheuser-Busch and Budweiser branded merchandise. Budweiser Brewery, the official best brewery in Missouri for 2011. <laughs> You're watching the official best of Missouri. Visit our website for more at officialbestof.com. My name is Eric Heckman. Uh, I'm the owner of Tiny Sushi Bistro. It's located in Clayton, Missouri, which is uh, just a suburb of St. Louis, Missouri. Tiny Sushi Bistro, it, it is a restaurant. Uh, it's a sushi restaurant, and that's what we specialize in. We have a huge selection of fish, a large selection of sushi rolls, uh, Japanese fusion entrees as well, uh, and appetizers. It, we have great sushi. It's fresh fish flowing in many days out of the week. And we create a really cool event from start to finish when you walk in the door uh, to the end of the meal. And then it's uh, finished off, topped off with our, our club that's right next door, and which is a more cooler atmosphere for drinks or nightcaps afterwards. For here, it's actually a true lounge nightclub style. It's totally different than anything else in St. Louis. Uh, our themes are based off of uh, places in the larger cities in Asia. The atmosphere inside of here, I come for lunch, I come for dinner, it doesn't matter when it is. It's like they know your name, they take good care of you. Um, and the food is just absolutely delicious. It's a good time. It's just awesome. I love it. Our head sushi chef is actually my wife. Uh, her name is Jenny. She's been doing sushi for just over 10 years. She's created our entire menu from the sushi, the, the selection of the fish, as well as all the entrees uh, and appetizers. She's the star of our sushi bar and restaurant because without it, and then we wouldn't have as good as food as we do have. And so we, we started, I've been in the restaurant business for a very long time, and we decided to move up here to St. Louis and for me and my wife to open up our own restaurant together. It's been doing really well since. Thanks for, for coming out and taking a look at us. Uh, we're very proud to be nominated the official best of sushi in Missouri. Uh, we invite you to come on inside and take a look at us even closer. This is the official best of Missouri for 2011. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. Hello, I'm Joe Edwards. We're at the Moonrise Hotel in St. Louis, Missouri in a wonderful area called The Loop. And I'm thrilled to introduce you to the Moonrise Hotel that's a one-of-a-kind luxury boutique hotel that kind of fits the loopishness of this area. And Moon is something. It's written about in all the songs and poetry and all. It's very romantic. So the decor at the Moonrise Hotel features different collections. There are four display cases filled with all sorts of lunar-related uh, objects, whether it's toys and jewelry or really rare items that have actually been to the moon. In the lobby of the hotel, there's a, a, a stairwell that has ever-changing colors on the steps. 
and the capper is on the rooftop itself where the world's largest man-made moon rotates 24 hours a day. Adults can have a cocktail on the rooftop terrace bar as they visit St. Louis, whether it's for travel or leisure, and enjoy the atmosphere and see the, the whole skyline of St. Louis. There are a variety of rooms from which to choose when you visit the Moonrise Hotel. There are St. Louis Walk of Fame suites, there are 10 of those that are luxurious and spacious that focus on great St. Louisans that have affected our culture in a positive way through the decades or the centuries. There are standard rooms which are very luxurious in themselves. The Moonrise Hotel has an, a restaurant called the Eclipse Restaurant that for the second year in a row has been voted number one overall restaurant in St. Louis. We do uh, a casual fine dining restaurant and uh, we focus predominantly on pre-prohibition era cocktails with a twist of fire modern standards. We're really proud that we were designated the official best luxury boutique hotel in Missouri. And look at the MoonriseHotel.com website for photographs and information about the hotel and how you can make a reservation to visit this incredible area right here in St. Louis, Missouri. The OfficialBestOf.com is the site to visit to find what is officially the best here and across America. The fabulous Fox Theater, a favorite of performers and audiences alike, is the crown jewel of Grand Center, St. Louis's arts and entertainment district, and now awarded the official best entertainment venue in Missouri for 2011. The Fabulous Fox, as it's known by locals, was opened in 1929 by then owner William Fox and designed by the famous architect C. Howard Crane. The majestic movie palace showed silent features, accompanied by its spectacular Wurlitzer organ, as well as the first talkies with full movie tone sound. In 1981, the Fox was in need of much repair when it was purchased and renovated by Fox Associates. The theater was meticulously restored as closely as possible to its 1929 state through the use of highly skilled craftsmen. Now, with a seating capacity of more than 4,000, the theater is famous the world over. Its majestic columns, spectacular chandelier, and intricate detail continue to amaze and inspire all who enter. Since its reopening in 1982, more than 15 million people from across the St. Louis region and the world have enjoyed great performances, including Broadway spectacles like the Phantom of the Opera, the Lion King, Wicked, and the Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Plus, countless artists from Bob Hope to Nat King Cole, Liberace, Frank Sinatra, Bruce Springsteen, Garth Brooks, Lady Gaga, and so many more have graced the Fox stage. Don't miss Peacock Alley, which gives the public a chance to immerse themselves in an incredible exhibit celebrating more than 2,000 shows and stars that have appeared at the Fox since 1982. This stunning visual display is on the fourth level and open prior to all shows at the theater. Once again, The Fabulous Fox has proved that it is America's most spectacular showcase, presenting St. Louis and the world with the best of everything and something for everyone. The Fabulous Fox Theater, the official best entertainment venue in Missouri for 2011. You're watching the official best of Missouri. Visit our website for more at officialbestof.com. Hi, my name is Milan Minjensic. I'm the owner, part owner here at Bevo Mill. We're located in South St. Louis City. Been here just a little over 102 years. The building was originally built by August Bush Sr. It was a project that he started prior to World War I. They came upon the, the drawings that they wanted to recreate here in St. Louis. They began construction in 1914. They finished in 1916. It opened in 1917. Here in the main room, which we use mainly for our weddings and private events and our Sunday brunches, is where he had his living room with a giant Bavarian fireplace with huge granite mantle. It was just a very warm and inviting space. We do weddings, small anniversary groups, large anniversary groups, and it's just amazing the history of this building. 
we cater to each of our clients. We create the menus for them. We do Friday night dinner series out on the patio during the warmer weather with live music. The menus change weekly. We keep our traditional German dishes, as well as we infuse some of the St. Louis dishes into it that are traditional. We do do Sunday brunches every Sunday. We do holiday brunches and we couldn't close the holiday if we wanted to. It's just a tradition here in St. Louis. Weddings are a big, big part of Bebo Mill. It's a beautiful building. It doesn't need a lot of decor, decorations brought in. We're open for any kind of event. We can handle off-premise as well as on-premise events. If you're looking for a special event, follow us on the website, our Facebook page, thebevomill.com. We look forward to seeing you and serving you. This is the official Best of Missouri for 2011. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. Hi, I'm Alex Rodriguez, second generation owner of Hacienda. Hacienda was founded by my father, Norberto Rodriguez, in 1968, and we've been family owned and operated ever since. It's our goal to continue his vision with fast and friendly service and inviting atmosphere and authentic Mexican cuisine. We take very much pride in our menu with many authentic options such as pozole and our pure avocado guacamole as well as some American favorites like tacos and our wet burrito. Our chips are made fresh daily in our own tortilla factory right here at Hacienda. We're very fortunate to have many loyal customers that have been coming to Hacienda for generations now, spending special occasions with us, anniversaries, birthdays. Hi, my name's Emily Bromeyer. I'm the event coordinator at Hacienda. I personally walk all my clients through every step of planning their private party or their corporate event. My job here is to just make sure that all of our guests have the best experience possible. We're also well known for our margaritas. We have many premium tequilas to choose from, especially one of our new favorites, Dos Lunas. We have many different dining options for all of our customers. Our original dining room, B room, next to our indoor patio, nice intimate room with skylights. We have our indoor bar and our latest addition, our outdoor cabana bar, great for happy hours, special occasions. One of our biggest events of the year is Cinco de Mayo. We have many people in St. Louis that come out for it. We've been doing this for many years now and we're considered one of the biggest Cinco de Mayo celebrations in St. Louis. We're very honored to have been named the official best Mexican restaurant of Missouri. We're located on Manchester, just west of downtown St. Louis. This is just a small glimpse of everything we have to offer and we hope to see you here soon. You're watching the official best of Missouri. Visit our website for more at officialbestof.com. I'm Robin. Uh, and I'm Stacy. We're the owners of Absolutely Goose here in St. Louis, Missouri. We specialize in martinis. We have over 80 different takes of the martini on our menu. And we also have a full wine and beer selection as well. We actually purchased the bar about four years ago now from a friend of ours. And we've just kind of brought it back up. We just wanted to have fun with it. The drinks on our menu are fun names. and. So we needed to, to name our bar something fun as well. Yeah, I mean, some of our, I mean, our favorite vodkas are absolute and gray goose. We only use premium alcohol here. We don't, we don't have a rail. Everything here is, is top shelf. And I think that really sets us apart. We keep our, we give our prices to where they should be for the type of service and the type of drinks that you get. But you're getting qual a quality drink every time you come in here. We do have a patio. It is uh, on the outside of our building. Uh, we also have seating out front. We have about 14 tables inside, about 10 seats at the bar. We're uh, a smaller location, but very comfortable location. A lot of different people in here from local to people who've heard of us through the visitor center, places like that where they've come in and, and they've, they've heard about our drinks and they want to come try them, uh, mostly because of the names of the drinks and the fact that our menu is about that thick. So people are always interested to see how it is that we can make 80 to, to 90 different drinks. <laughs> Absolutely Goose was definitely the pioneer of the martini scene in St. Louis. We, we're pretty much known as the everybody bar. Everybody comes in here, everybody feels comfortable, everybody has a good time. We're thrilled to be named as the best martinis 
in Missouri. It's it's an honor. We hold very high. And the next time you're in town, we'd appreciate it if you, if you stop by. If you're a local, we love that you come in all the time. If you want to know more about us, check out our website. Follow us on Twitter or Facebook. And check us out when you come to St. Louis. This is the official Best of Missouri for 2011. To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. Uh, my name is Dan Boyer, and I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing for the Renaissance St. Louis Grand Hotel. And uh, we are located downtown on Washington Avenue. Uh, the hotel has 1,083 guest rooms. Um, we are a convention hotel and we have 54,000 square feet of meeting space. We have a number of amenities including uh, three restaurants, a bar, the Starbucks, the health club is open 24 hours. We are in the chairman suite. This is the ultimate suite and sleeping accommodations here at the uh, Renaissance Grand Hotel. For that guest looking for ultimate luxury and accommodations, uh, this would be uh, the room that you would want to sleep in. We're in the Capri restaurant. Uh, this is the main restaurant for the hotel. The restaurant seats 230 guests. The palm trees are representative of the old restaurant in the Statler Hotel. It was referred to as the Palm Court. Uh, we are standing in the Crystal Ballroom. This is arguably really the feature room of our hotel. Uh, this is the four-year area. This is where you would have uh, typically have a reception uh, prior to your event. We're standing in part of the Majestic Ballroom. The Renaissance Grand is a major convention hotel. Uh, this particular ballroom is 20,000 square feet. We're standing uh, in one section of the ballroom. Our main business is convention group business. We're standing in the Grand Bar. Uh, this is the main lounge for the hotel. The lounge seats uh, about 150 people. Live entertainment on Friday and Saturday evening. Uh, again, it's our pleasure to, uh, and really an honor, to be recognized as Missouri's top luxury hotel. Um, we look forward to uh, you visiting us. And the official bestof.com is the site to visit to find what is officially the best here and across America. My name is Rusty Oaks. I'm the general manager of Prime 1000 in St. Louis, Missouri. Prime 1000 is a really great restaurant where we have taken a little West Coast style and matched it with the St. Louis beauty and architecture and old history. We work really hard to get a great vibe for the guests to get a total experience, not only with wonderful food, but great service in a wonderful atmosphere. One of the things that makes us unique is the fact that we're a modern American cuisine that specializes in steaks. We have three different kinds of steaks. We have the 30-day dry age, the Missouri grass-fed, and the prime steaks. My name is Ray Carpenter. I'm the executive chef of Prime 1000, new modern, uh, St. Louis's new modern steakhouse restaurant. What we try to do here is I'm very much into like seasonal food and I'm very much into changing the menus as often as I need to to get the best products I can and the most unique products that I can. I use Rain Cow Ranch out of Donovan, Missouri and they're great. The product we get from them is outstanding. Our restaurant is kind of twofold. We have a banquet facility, we have a portion of our restaurant that we can close off to accommodate parties up to 60. We have a smaller area that we can close off, semi-private area, and we are currently in my VIP loft, and that accommodates parties up to 10. When you walk into our bar through a 25-foot red brick arch, you go into a completely different environment where it's a lot more fun, bright, the music's a little louder, but you can still get the same exact menu in our lounge as you can in our restaurant. We are so proud to be given the award of Best Steakhouse in the state of Missouri. And you'll find our staff accommodating and excited to take care of you. This is the official Best of Missouri for 2011. 
To see more, visit our website at officialbestof.com. My name is Andy Tatmar. I'm the area manager here for Columbia Bottom Conservation Area, um, which is about a 4,300 acre area here in North St. Louis County that the Department of Conservation purchased from the city of St. Louis in 1997 as a urban conservation area for people to come to visit and get to see nature in its truest forms. It's at the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi rivers, which are the two biggest rivers in this part of the world, and gives everybody a chance to get out to see the confluence of the rivers. On the area, there's a road system that leads people from the, from the in area entrance out to the confluence. Along that way, there's a visitor center right at the entrance. The visitor center itself is open Wednesday through Friday, 8 to 5, and Saturday and Sunday, 8 to 4. And then the road system will take you on out through past the boat ramp on the Missouri River, so we have, people have a chance to get on the river with a boat. My name is Dan Zarlinga, and we are at Columbia Bottom Conservation Area. We have a very nice viewing platform where folks can drive out and with a short paved walk uh, get out onto the viewing platform and see where these two rivers come together. When viewers visit the viewing platform right before they get there, there's a very tall pole out there. It's kind of like our river gauge and it's marked where, where some of the historic floods have reached. On the area there's a, about three different sets of trails set up for hiking and biking. For more information about the area, you can contact our area headquarters at 314-877-6014 or the Missouri Department of Conservation official website. Thank you for joining us today at Columbia Bottom Conservation Area. We're very proud to be selected as the official best hidden outdoor recreation area in Missouri. We encourage you to join us and uh, enjoy all nature has to offer out here. Now, here's a sample of other features from other states on our website. Hi, I'm uh, Sam with Airboat Adventures. Uh, thank y'all for coming out. We um, do airboat tours here, uh, 9.45, 12, 2, and 4 o'clock. Uh, later on in the summer, we'll be doing a 6 o'clock tour, which we call our sunset tour. We do our tours on uh, six passenger and uh, small airboats, and we have uh, larger airboats who accommodate up to 20 people. We uh, have our lo local captains that uh, raised in the area know all the uh, 20,000 acres of privately owned swamp that uh, Airboat Adventures has, and they take you out, tell you all about the uh, wildlife, uh, the trees, uh, different vegetations and all on the water and on the land out here. So it's more than just a, a ride. Things you can see on our tour, of course, alligators uh, during the warmer months. never know what you're going to see as far as mammals go. Everything is wild out here, so uh, whatever pops up is what we see. Here in the shop, we have two albino alligators, one about six foot long, one about three and a half foot long. Very rare animal. Uh, only company in Louisiana that does have uh, albino alligators is Airboat Adventures. Now, Airboat Adventures is about uh, 45 uh, minutes south of New Orleans. We can even show you the skyline on a clear day from the swamp out there. If you want to have a nice party, we have the facilities here. Airboat Adventures is looking forward to seeing you here, coming out and visiting us. Uh, hopefully we can uh, get together with you, uh, answer your questions, have a good time, or as we say in South Louisiana, let's pass a good time. <laughs> Now let's take a look at some features from last year on the official Best of Missouri. While we were in St. Louis, our official Best of Missouri crew decided to check out some of the local nightlife. Take a look at what they found.
If you're looking for fun and entertainment, look no further than the wildly outrageous variety show starring Missouri's own Clownfish. Clownfish, an Elvis clown hybrid, hosts a show featuring an array of acts from burlesque to magic and comedy routines as well. This is a variety show you won't soon forget. After the show, head to the best all hours diner in town, Tiffany's Diner, home of the famous slinger. Eggs, bacon, hash browns, and sausage covered in Tiffany's homemade chili. This local diner keeps everybody coming back for more. Just ask these regulars. What's your favorite, sir? Obviously the slinger. The slinger is the big hit at Tiffany's. The burgers. Definitely the burgers. The slinger. It's just the greatest thing you could ever eat. Next time you're in Missouri, don't miss Clownbus and Tiffany's Diner for a little fun and food. Now, here's a sample of other features from other states on our website. Founded in 1780, Bordstown is Kentucky's second oldest community and is the inspiration for Stephen Foster's famous song, My Old Kentucky Home. Downtown is filled with friendly people, charming shops, and local family-owned restaurants, including the famous Talbot Tavern, the oldest Western stagecoach stop in America. Above all else, Bardstown is recognized as the bourbon capital of the world. Bardstown is to bourbon what Napa Valley is to American wine. If you want to see how bourbon is made and how the industry has evolved over the past two centuries, you'll find the answers here in Bardstown. Compare and taste different bourbons and go behind the scenes to see firsthand the step-by-step -step process of distilling. Most of the distilleries have their own visitor centers filled with distinct gifts and keepsake mementos that proudly bear the name of your favorite brand. If you want to see them all at once, they come together each fall at Bardstown's world-renowned Kentucky Bourbon Festival, held each year in the heart of town. The Oscar Getz Museum of Whiskey History is the only museum in the world dedicated solely to the history of bourbon. Rare artifacts like unusual antique bottles and bourbon-making tools of the past are all on display. Enjoy a relaxing 22-mile journey through the scenic and historic Rolling Fork River Valley on the only L&M steam locomotive in operation today. Or revisit the days of fine dining aboard restored 1940s dining cars on My Old Kentucky Dinner Train. My Old Kentucky Home State Park houses Federal Hill, magnificently restored to its full antebellum beauty, featuring an open-air amphitheater that houses the acclaimed Stephen Foster Musical a lively evening of entertainment under the stars that takes you back to the 1850s when Stephen Foster became America's premier songwriter. Bardstown, a truly unique and memorable American experience. <laughs>